There are some really powerful staples for the new NNR festival that you might want to consider when you start building your own deck. Whether you are building something archetype specific or you're trying to build some really weird jank, maybe some of these cards can help you out. Now that doesn't mean I will be listing all of them because obviously Yu-Gi-Oh has thousands of cards. So if you have some cool ideas, put them in the comments down below and we'll see if there's anything really cool out there. A first card I want you to think of is Cyber Dragon. Now obviously this is kind of a vanilla in the sense that it special summons itself out and that's it. But it is possible that this still makes a bit of a splash depending on how powerful some decks out there are. You know, if people are just gonna be playing the typically strong NNR archetypes and even despite the semi-limits and limits, those are strong enough, then maybe this won't be very good. But if we are seeing a lot of like good stuff types of decks, then maybe Cyber Dragon will be decent. Next, we have a fan favorite. We have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Now, obviously, I'm not telling people to play Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as a actual win con in this format. However, there is one card named Fists of the Unrivaled Tenyi that is currently limited to one. And that says when destroyed, you can special summon a non-effect fusion monster from your extra deck. So you can literally just, when it's destroyed, special summon out a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I actually used that trick, <laughs> funnily enough, in one of my videos where I did a little challenge. You might want to check that out on the channel. And so, yeah, it's possible that we will see people play that Tenyi as a one-off to then cheat out this big boy consistently. That will be very fun and memes in my opinion. Number 97 Drag Lubion. I actually played with N's and R's before because I didn't want to spend SR and UR material and this card might end up being good. If we find any really generic or, or non-generic, just solid rank 8 materials, it's possible that we see some of this pop up as well. The Sky Striker cards Ray and Rose are normals and this is also a rare so maybe that is an option as well depending of course on which spells you want to be able to use because the strongest sky striker spells are urs and srs brain control might end up being a decent staple in this game depending of course on how hard some people go when it comes to their extra deck moon mirror shield is an absolute include i think a lot of people saw this coming it was also limited to one for that reason it is just a beast of a card makes anything just destroy anything else by battle phase essentially you should read the card but any any battle you're gonna win with this card and so it's very possible you know some of the cards earlier i mentioned they're not necessarily super strong not necessarily gonna be in every deck and so forth but i think this one will actually be in an overwhelming amount of decks. Dimensional Fissure. Now, if you want people to hate you, this is the card for you. This basically destroys all graveyard decks. Now, that doesn't mean that graveyard decks are gonna be super great right now. Again, we don't know, we'll see. We'll see if some of these archetypes that they hit will still be strong or not. Nah. But if we do see some graveyard play, Dimensional Fissure will be like an anti-meta type of pick. Mystical Space Typhoon, of course, generic spell and trap destruction. You might want to include that depending on how the format evolves. Book of Moon, really solid form of, well, not really removal, but countering certain things that are really hard to counter. Forbidden Chalice is in a similar situation, just negate something and that way out something that would otherwise not be outable. Torrential Tribute, this might end up being in a bunch of decks, just the fact that you have this card trading an entire field away for one card is gonna be a pretty big deal I feel. I think the R and N format is gonna revolve heavily around Torrential Tribute, unless of course there's like a crazy archetype that plays through it, but I personally doubt it. In a similar vein we have needle ceiling though i do not know if there is going to be enough high powered decks that can create four or more monsters on the field so but it might end up being a similar situation as torrential compulsory evacuation device is just a good way to remove a monster that's otherwise hard to destroy we'll see if that's actually necessary given the format next we have solemn scolding now this may be a bit of a controversial one essentially if everything is powered down being able to negate anything with this might be good, especially because maybe you're running a deck that doesn't run back row. And this is like the one final piece of negation, let's say you need. 
in order to stop your opponent from playing the game whatsoever. I don't know, this might be decent, but you would have to ensure that you don't play other set spells or traps. Next, just dangers in general. Not every danger is legal, you know, the best ones here are SR and UR and so forth, but it's possible that some of these weaker dangers end up being decent in this format regardless, especially if you have access to cert certain Xyzes or so forth. Like, we already went over the Draglubion earlier, and this is a level 8, so maybe something along those lines works. Next, we have Chaos Sorcerer. Now, this is a meme I already ran before, but who knows how low power the format goes. It might be an option, though it's definitely not in the same category as some of the stronger cards we went over before. Smashing Ground is just a often better fissure, so it's possible that this will be the removal of choice for some people. Enemy Controller might end up being decent. Again, we're really going back to like 2004 format with some of these potential staples. It is very possible that someone just figures out that some modern deck really still functions fine-ish and then some of these staples like this one won't be that good, but hey, we'll see. Have a look at that. This mistake is still legal. Hmm, question mark? And finally, like I said before, we have Fists of the Unrivaled Tenyi. This card might end up being pretty good. Just, you set it, your opponent removes it, and now you get some bullshit Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or something along those lines. I think this meme will be very funny. With that being said, if you have any cool cards that might end up being really impactful, do let me know in the comments down below. Again, not necessarily like major archetypes, because obviously those might just be good, and then you just play one complete deck and that's it. Really mostly like cards you can splash into almost anything or that maybe not everyone has thought of just yet let me know be sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you soon ciao